Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of my video series on how I became a software developer. To get a full context of this uh, series, I would recommend you to first watch part 1 and part 1 should be somewhere there, I guess. If you've already watched part 1, just continue watching. If that's not the case, watch part 1 first. Okay, let's, let's get started. So in part one, I stopped where I had this conversation with my uh, ex-team lead regarding my underperformance. And during that conversation, I had some thoughts in my head. So after that conversation, I decided to move to my previous position as an IT support engineer just to think through some things that were going through my head. And one of them was me asking myself, do I even belong here? Do I Should I even stay, let's say, in the tech industry, in the tech environment? I mean, uh, almost every support IT support engineer's dream is to become a sysadmin someday, at least back then. So becoming a sysadmin is actually more or less, the, let's say, the chronological path of an IT support engineer. So you first start as a junior and then later you move to a career level when you start preparing yourself to become a sysadmin. And then when you become a sysadmin, you can uh, then specialize in uh, Linux or in networking or in virtual machine, whatever. And uh, I was there. I was there and I blew it big time. I remember when I had a chat with, uh, with an ex-colleague, he told me something that stuck in my head for a long time. Even till today, I still think about it. He told me that um, Nathaniel, maybe the reason why things didn't uh, go well in that position was because you didn't want it bad enough. And to be honest, if I think about it, he was right. However, I couldn't imagine myself doing something outside of IT. So it was uh, <laughs> it was a challenge to like stay in the IT but doing something more different than what I've been doing for the past five years. So I was uh, searching for online courses, uh, boot camps, workshops. I was still scared of learning new stuff. So. <laughs> It was a very confusing moment in my career because I was scared of moving forward, but at the same time, I wanted to move forward. So it was very confusing. And then this moment that uh, I would say that changed everything came. Yeah. I came across this online course. The topic was about Linux server basics. So I went through this course and most of the stuff I was like preventing or running from for five years all this fancy Linux command lines, syntax, they made sense to me all of a sudden after watching a six hours tutorial. All I did was I sat down, took some notes, listened carefully and applied what uh, the instructor was explaining in the video. I mean, I was happy and excited at, at the same time. However, I was also like kind of angry at myself. So this is what I was running from all these years. This is what I was postponing all these years. Sitting down, listening, taking notes, application. Well, I, I didn't understood every single instruction in the video. However, this feeling of helplessness, of being overwhelmed, just left. And then the hunger of learning like just emerged. It was... <laughs> I was buying courses like crazy here and there, just like a child learning how to run, learning how to walk, and just jumping around, climbing. Learning was fun, so it was a it became a hobby. So uh, late night after work, during the weekend, I'm actually learning new things or looking for new things to learn. So a friend sent me a link of an, of an online bootcamp for software development, and this was actually the the first time I was exposed to online boot camps that offer uh, software development. Uh, I knew there were boot camps for IT support engineer and um, Linux uh, admin and sysadmin and all this stuff. But online boot camps for software engineering, I didn't knew that. It was completely new to me. And especially because I had this wrong conception regarding software development. Software development is just for people who grew up learning these things people who have been writing code since they can talk, since they can walk, people with a computer science degree, 
people who are really really good in math people who have um, like photographic mind and I was none of that <laughs> so software development was like far I I was looking at software development from a very very far distance and now there's this bootcamp thingy out there claiming they can teach anybody how to code in six months and afterwards you actually know enough to get a job <laughs> it was amazing for me to 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 know that things like this exist however i wasn't convinced just watch going through the web page and looking at some of the things some of the testimonies of uh, students claiming that uh, they got a job and so on so i started investigating I came across more and more boot camps and also on YouTube I find people talking about how they learned software development and after a few months they got a job and all this stuff um, I was I was amazed and to be honest I couldn't believe what I was hearing and seeing because like I said software development was like something very very far away from from the normal people like like me so I wanted to give it a try I I wanted to learn how this software development thing actually works. So I started with uh, web development, doing some of the basics, HTML, CSS, and uh, <laughs> JavaScript scared the hell out of me because um, I had absolutely no idea of um, object-oriented programming. And I remember the first time I saw a class or a method, I was thinking to myself, man, who who came up with this stuff? I created some static web page, just one side, one page, looking at it all day, changing fonts, changing background colors, showing it to my wife, showing it to friends, and before I go to bed, I will, I'm staring at it and like, wow, amazing. Scroll up, scroll down, amazing, you know. Go back to bed. <laughs> I loved every single moment of that. Of that experience that was actually when this transition of my career began and i was taught thinking wow this is this is what i want to this is what i want to do in the future i want to do something similar to to this kind of stuff and i don't care how long it's going to take it might take me two years it might take me three it might take me five years i don't care but that's where i'm heading to so i was uh, playing around with web development for a couple of months maybe three four months so i said to myself i'm gonna continue working on my web development skills on my software development skills until i find a job as a web developer or as a software engineer i'm going to stay in the company keep working there and just continue advancing my skills it might take like i said maybe even five years but that's where i want to go and then one day i was contacted by a recruiter however this person wanted me to join the company as an IT support engineer I was very straightforward and I told this person look I've decided to do something different in the future so I'm not looking forward to switch the company just to do IT support engineer and I also told the recruiter that uh, I'm only looking forward to to switch to an IT support engineer position if the company is open to giving me a chance to show my skills as a web developer or as a software developer and switch to software development within the company. So the recruiter wanted to first talk to the manager and then come back to me and give me some uh, feedback. I think it was actually the same day I was contacted again by this recruiter and I was told that uh, the manager is very open to my ideas and if I can prove down the line as an IT support engineer, if I can prove that I have the skills that it takes to become a junior developer they're going to give me a chance and they have a lot of developers who are willing to help me who are willing to support me and that was it that was enough to convince me that this should be my next step i switched to this company that's a company i'm working for now and what happened next i'm gonna find out in part three and part three is going to also be the last part of this video series okay that's it for today and take away for this video for this episode don't run away from responsibilities. I mean, I was postponing stuff for years. Things that I later figure out I can learn within six hours, I was postponing it for years. Sometimes I think about where would I have been if I have started learning all this stuff four years ago, five years ago. And it made me like sad sometimes, but at the same time, I'm here now. I've learned from my mistakes and I'm moving forward. And I just want to help you guys who might 
be going through the same route or maybe someone you know that might be going through the same experiencing the same things like i did uh just to help them and say hey stop you should invest in your in your skills learn something especially when you're in tech continue learning continue improving your skills thank you very much god bless